Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading Taurus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Taurus, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and of Note. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Could you please show me important messages for Taurus? What Taurus needs to know at this time? Oh, wow. Okay. So what do we have, Taurus? Let's see. Let me organize it for you, Taurus. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? Our lovely card. So that's very nice. So Taurus, um, June, July, August might be quite important for your situation. Something might have happened during those months. I'm seeing you uh, being very grounded, very down to earth. Uh, I'm getting also very strongly that um, it might be a case that recently you ended or certain ka karmic cycles um, came to an end. Uh, I'm also getting with this card that you might have changed something with regards to like everyday routine. Um, is something to do with um i feel very strongly something to do with ending um certain patterns and also kind of changing mindset i feel that you completed the cycle maybe that's the better way of of, of kind of expressing what this card what this card is really about and i'm seeing here that it wasn't easy but um you've done it you've done it you are very courageous and you are very strong. You possess very strong inner power. And by doing this, I feel that you restore more stability in your life. Also with the balance, I'm saying that you might be focusing at the moment at your work, uh, or maybe you, you, you might be focusing on your professional life, a work-related situation, but I see harmony and and balance very 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 much here it's visible in this reading so it feels like you are on the right path um we also have this card of keep going next to strength it's like spirit wants you to uh, be full of hope and to not give up and keep going it says don't stop you almost there taurus so you're almost there. Something here will manifest and you will, get, you will get it. Something that you truly, truly want. And I feel that you put enormous amount of work, dedication and care in order to, to achieve this goal. And you will get it. You will get it. Because you're manifesting it. Yeah, I'm seeing very nice balanced energy. You being very kind of in your element. Very grounded very emotionally strong, very courageous. You know, it's like nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you <laughs> um, to gain what you truly, truly want. This is also energy of sun and it is overall energy. So you can be reassured that indeed, you know, even if something is taking a long time and it might be a case that something, you know, along the way needed as some sort of kind of moderation or maybe even, you know, kind of, uh, change of idea or change of direction whatever the case might be uh, either way with this energy you will get what you want because this is all ultimate energy of happiness joy fulfillment and it's and it's overall energy so it's it's like a reassurance that that's what's coming to you we have social media for some of you um, uh, your work might be hugely connected with social media uh, maybe you are influencer or you're working with social media or you're simply very active on social media but I also see someone here who uh, who is uh, following you who's watching your stories who's watching what you're posting they are very curious about you with this card we have also home this is another energy of stability for some of you you might be thinking about moving house or current place of residence but um, I'm seeing with the home, it's this, this, this kind of a home. It's a sign, 
especially when it comes to oracle cards this is a sign of security of stability that you are um, manifesting in your life so this is very positive taurus very nice let's see what tara will tell us let's see show me taurus please show me taurus what's going on in taurus's life please show me taurus please Show me Taurus. Okay. We have the Tower. We have Five of Pentacles. We have Five of Wands. We have Six of Cups. Okay. Taurus, you might be dealing with Aries or Scorpio. Hmm. <laughs> something here it's changing and i feel that um it might be a case that recently you've, you've experienced quite uncomfortable change and it it might be uh hugely connected with this uh, completion of this this cycle here ending certain karmic cycles with the tower it's like um I'm getting that something here happened and it was unexpected. It was out of the blue, quite shocking. With the five of pentacles and five of wands, for some of you, there was a big argument or disagreement about uh, finances or money situation. And you might not be on a speaking terms at the moment with, with this person who was involved in that ma matter. But with the Six of Cups, it's like someone here wants to make amends, wants to apologize. They missing you, they regret what they have said. They re someone here caused the tower moment. And I feel for some of you that indeed it might be uh, hugely connected with some sort of kind of a, um, something to do with stability something to do with finances money with this five of pentacles because i feel that someone here put you in a very uncomfortable position taurus they promised you something and they didn't deliver and i feel it was something to do maybe someone here promised you that they will uh, assist you or support you um, or help you um, with regards to some sort of project or something to do with uh, with finances but it's like um i feel that it was a like a last minute thing and this person um this person kind of tried to give some sort of explanation and it was so unexpected because you were actually convinced that something here my you know that's that that it will uh, manifest but um that it will happen that it will happen sorry and I feel that there was, uh, it just left a bittersweet kind of, you know, taste. And with the Six of Cups, for some of you, it might be a family member. It might be a, a sibling or relative or someone who is very close to your heart. And it's like they, they really disappointed you. 5th of May might be quite important, 6th of May as a date might be quite important as well, 16th of May, 16th of June, um, 5th of June as well, they're giving me those dates, those dates, yeah. But, the, you know, the tower is this kind of a shocking energy, something unexpected happened, 5 of Pentacles, and it feels like because that happened, it might left you kind of, it left this feeling that, you know, uh, something here was promised, but it wasn't deliv delivered. Therefore, you felt like being left out in the cold with no support, no understanding. And with the five of wands, uh, there might have been an argument about the money situation or disagreement or 
you just it's just this whole situation left you really kind of annoyed really annoyed with the six of cups it feels like someone here who might cause this tower moment wants to make amends Six of Cups can represent an apology, you know, because this is a situation that might happen recently and it wants to come back, resurface itself again in order to uh, to be um, in order to gain the most beneficial uh, outcome for both of the parties. But I feel that this is someone here who needs to kind of uh, truly show that they, they are really sorry for what they put you through. If it's not a, if it's not a fi financial situation, I'm getting that in general something here really kind of happened, and it was quite shocking, and it left uh, left you again, you know, completely misunderstood, or someone here refused uh, to see your point of view, and it led to some sort of confrontation. Uh, I'm seeing, in a sense of. Um, having an argument, disagreement. But with the Six of Cups, it feels like this person here who was involved in this wants to make amends. Let's see more for Taurus. We have a Three of Cups. Yes, this is someone who wants reconciliation. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. It's something to do with investment six of swords at the bottom of the deck because look we have a five of pentacles seven of pentacles and a six of cups for some of it might be just just purely about some sort of kind of investment regarding money and it feels like you find out here about something and it was shocking and it was disagreement it might be a case that uh, um let's say that there are three people with including you are involved in some sort of maybe investment or collaboration and you've kind of find out that all this care and that you invested for some of you invested uh, maybe some uh, some um that you invested so much patient and time and you were caring a lot about this 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 whole project or situation but with the five of pentacles, you might have found out that um, you might have found out. Yes, you might have found out that something here um, didn't work out. And it's like, I feel that, you know, and it might have been simply an argument, you know, something suddenly with the tower is just like this tower moment happened. And it is with the three of cups and five of wands. I'm getting very strong energy of disagreement, arguments, tension between people or between even two people about someone else's also involvement in this situation. For some of you, it might be a case that um, you feel here, Taurus, that um, it's like a outside interference in, in, in certain matter regarding you and this other person. So you might feel that it, it is in a kind of form of third party and you just didn't like it. And it might be a case that this person wanted to bring this third person into the, uh, into the situation. And you disagree with that. For some of you, it might be a love related situation when you find out that someone here put you in a third party situation, you confronted this, this individual, there was a big big argument and it again it left this bittersweet kind of a feeling because I feel that you invested a lot in this connection if that's the case but with the six of cups next to the three of cups it's like someone here really wants to make amends they really want to come back and apologize uh, they want to kind of um, reconcile or reconnect with you have a reunion in order to talk through this situation and with the seven of pentacles they are equally invested in this in this situation we have a six of swords at the bottom of the deck i feel that at the moment you might make a decision that it's best for you or it's best for 
regarding this whole situation to kind of distance yourself from it uh, to kind of uh, in order to bring more harmony and and clarity to the situation but with the six of swords i feel that you possess all the clarity because six of swords is this kind of energy that uh, might indicate that we are making decision to um, to walk away or to kind of you know distance ourselves from something and it's based on um on 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 logic and rational judgment it's like it's the right thing for me to do based on facts mm -hmm. so i am seeing very strongly that something like this uh, recently might have happened or you are you know during that sort of kind of situation but if indeed something here has been very challenging and you know disagreements or some sort of kind of arguments are involved in this situation it feels like someone here will uh, will will take a step forward and they will try to reach out in order to have this kind of reunion reconciliation with you they will try to kind of tell you that you know they are equally invested and you know it it just maybe it's just like a at the moment there is some sort of kind of obstacle that appeared on, on the way but within time uh, it can be overcome something like this okay either way i'm seeing here someone who wants to reach out to you and wants to have this reunion and reconciliation bring more happiness to to the whole situation okay so let's see let's see taurus show me love life Show me love life for Taurus, please. Show me love life. We have a page of cups. We have the Emperor. We have an uh, Ace of Cups. Okay, you might be dealing with Aries, Taurus. Show me more about love life, please. Ten of Swords, show me more. Nine of Wands, okay. So someone here might be holding back. We have the Hermit and we have a Knight of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have judgment. You might be dealing with um, Taurus with Scorpio. You have someone here who is very interested in you. This emperor, you know, emperor is, is divine masculine energy, male, female, please take it how it resonates. But... Emperor is a big deal, especially when it's nicely aspected. And this one seems to have very pure intentions because uh, page of cups, it's a very kind of um, pure energy, you know. And then we have this ace of cups, which is a beginning of something that might have um, potential um, for happiness joy and fulfillment and this is someone here who, who is surrendered by this energy taurus for some of you you have here someone new okay this is here someone new for some of you might have met this person or you might start dating someone new um if you uh been wondering if this person has pure intentions towards you i'm getting from these cards that yes they are very interested in you this is someone who will wanted to ask you out for a date with the ace of cups they want to get you know they want to get to know you better but they also want to be seen as they have a, 
a lot to offer on emotional level, meaning that they are emotionally available. I'll tell you here one thing, Taurus. This is someone who is uh, who who. I feel this is someone who is after breakup, or there was some sort of form of an ending that happened in their love life with the Ten of Swords, and for some time with the Hermit, they've been single. They they were. Uh, they they were alone or they were kind of you know in a hermit mode in order to figure out uh, what to do next it's like this person was trying to heal from that breakup that they've experienced in the past or recent past but I don't see this person being you know kind of trying to immediately jump into another relation no no this is someone who's very down to earth is someone who is not very cleanly someone who's not very needy and who understand the concept of uh, of concept that people might also need their own space, which is quite nice and refreshing. Uh, this person been through a lot with the Ten of Swords. Um, I feel that they experienced some sort of form of betrayal, and essentially, someone here at the end, metaphorically saying, this this person here felt that someone you know, stab them in the back because of the lies and and trickery that was very, very much um, present in this connection from the past. And I feel with the hermit, this person gained a lot of experience and wisdom, especially from this uh, particularly emotionally painful situation that they've been through. You might be dealing with Virgo. And then we have Princess of Talisman, which is a page of pentacles. So yes, this is someone here. We have a page of cups and page of pentacles. This is someone who sees a potential, who sees a potential for happiness, joy and fulfillment with you. They are very interested. And it wouldn't surprise me that Within, within days, you might expect here this person to reach out and ask you for a date or uh, ask you to maybe do something together, okay? I feel this person will very quickly open up to you or maybe they've already done it, uh, but um, with the Ten of Swords, they will, be, they will not kind of run away or try to dismiss this subject regarding this... Um, um, regarding this this previous uh this previous difficult uh relationship that they've been uh that they were uh, with their ex-partner or that they were involved in i feel this is someone with especially with next to the ace of cups it's like they will tell you about it this is someone who wants to be emotionally you know available meaning uh, yes of course you can ask me anything i will tell you and with the hermit, it feels like this is someone here who likes to take things slowly, but also this is someone who is quite intelligent, who is intelligent, I would say, who possess wisdom and experience. And it's like they don't want to kind of be put again in, in this energy of Ten of Swords because they've been there, they've experienced this and there was no fun, obviously. And this page of pentacles here, I'm getting that, yes, them being very transparent and actually talking about the situation and period of time when they were, you know, kind of in a hermit mode, didn't want it to get involved with anyone be in order to just kind of figure out what they truly want. And also I feel this is someone who um, likes to ask or who is a thinker, okay, who is interested in, in you know, kind of, I'm getting kind of a, a, a little bit someone who might be interested in philosophy uh, maybe even spirituality but this is someone who likes to think a lot it, but it's not that they are stuck in their head it's like they are a thinker you know they are very interesting this is someone who possess a um, who is quite intelligent yeah, quite, I don't know why quite I should have dropped that really who is intelligent you know and who is very understanding and, you know, it's like with this Ten of Swords and the Hermit, they've learned their lesson regarding this emotionally painful ending and situation uh, that happened in the past. 
and with this uh, page of Pentecost, it's like they are willing to talk about it and they are willing to actually uh, tell you a lot because Page of Pentacles has something of substance to offer. It's not much, but I feel this this is the thing. We're starting with the Page of Cups and we're ending with the Page of Pentacles. This is, this is a new person coming to your life or maybe this person already came and uh, you are just, you know, you are chatting with them or or this is someone uh, who you start dating, but um, this is this this individual uh, sees you and this connection that it has a potential to to bring fulfillment and ha and happiness to their life, and it feels like this person wants to kind of uh, give you the same. It's not like one sided kind of feeling, you know. No, this is someone who equal who equally wants to make you happy. We have a judgment. So yeah, I'm, I'm seeing here, um, for some of you, you know, it's, it feels like with the judgment, it's, I'm getting that in the near future when you will both meet or you will have a conversation, and many, many subjects from the past will be uh, discussed. This is someone who wants to open up about their past because they want to be fully transparent with you. Mm -hmm. so this is this is quite nice you have someone here who is very down to earth who wants to take uh, things slowly in order to bring more stability to the situation quite strong soulmate energy actually it's showing up Taurus Show me near future for Taurus, please. We have an Eight of Pentacles. Show me near future for Taurus, please. We have Wheel of Fortune, Two of Wands, and Chariot. This is lovely. So. The Empress at the bottom of the deck, wow. So much abundance and prosperity is showing up for you in the near future. So you might be dealing with, um, I have fixed energy with the Wheel of Fortune. So we have Aquarius, Scorpio, your energy Taurus. Maybe you're dealing with another Taurus. Um, okay, let me start again. <laughs> Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus and Leo okay also uh, Sagittarius is associated with this card as well so you might be dealing also with Sagittarius I have Cancerian energy with the chariot and um, very strong Taurus energy with the Empress also uh, Virgo Gemini okay so in in your near future I see uh, eight of Pentacles represents work most of the time so this is a sign for me that uh, for a lot of you you can expect enormous amount of fulfillment regarding work so we have the eight of pentacles it shows here that uh, you are very hard working there is a, a um, and next to the wheel of fortune you can expect that people will recognize your dedication and attention to detail so with the with the wheel of fortune eight of pentacles with the wheel of fortune um, indicates that good luck and essentially good fortune is on your side regarding uh, your work related matters therefore if you've been wondering if your position for instance is stable absolutely uh, if things has been quite challenging um, you can be reassured that stability here regarding your work place or work related situation uh, will be very much uh, resolved to your own to your own satisfaction yeah it's like you will receive some sort of acknowledgement or you're going to be praised by your hard work with the two of wands i feel that for some of you you might be waiting for some time um, to receive some sort of kind of maybe um, some sort of answer or 
it's like you are planning for the future and I feel that you are planning big and with the chariot uh, you'll be very successful because this is an ultimate card of success as well as six of wands but we have a major arcana with the chariot so um, with the two of wands, it feels like for some of you that you might be waiting on the right moment in order to take action because chariot is also a very action orientated card. Uh, and uh, it feels like it, it, the outcome is absolutely fabulous. Overall energy is the Empress. This is an expansion again, growth, opportunities, um, good luck, good fortune. You know, Empress represents uh, luxury you know and just being in a very very privileged position regarding stability and I feel that this whole situation here in this mini spread regarding your near future uh, shows that uh, your work related situation or your your career is on the right path and really something here will will bring so much happiness and joy with the fortune it's just i don't even know how to express it but it's like winning a jackpot really i'm seeing you receiving so much acknowledgement acknowledgement uh and being in the center of attention that your hard work here will really kind of uh, be praised here by higher authorities and it will bring so much opportunities it's like again if things has been difficult there will be a complete change of circumstances and you will find yourself in a very very good position that actually your position is very very safe and secure you have nothing here to worry about more this wheel of fortune will bring good luck and new opportunities here for, for more success with chariot and empress as an overall energy for this mini spread indicates that you will be successful you will be successful so please take it how it resonates for some of you you might want a promotion it feels like you will get it for some of you if you are uh, your own uh, boss if for instance if you're an entrepreneur or you're having your own business you can expect abundance and prosperity more money and actually a success so i'm seeing you either way being very successful a very successful and and have those chances and opportunities to to bring even more success to your professional life absolutely beautiful show me the outcome for the near future please Show me the outcome for the near future, please, for Taurus. So we have the Death card, we have the Empress, we have Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy in this reading. So you are, we are connecting here with your Divine counterpart, strong soulmate energy, I'm getting, especially with this individual here that we were talking uh, in a love uh, life section of your reading show me the outcome for the near future for Taurus please and you have Queen of Swords okay Taurus at the bottom of the deck we have a knight uh, not knight page of swords so we have the social media card here uh, at the bottom of the deck so your outcome for the near future you might be dealing with Scorpio we have your energy Taurus and we also have uh, Gemini and Virgo this is purely your energy that's how I see it and this is how I feel when I look at these cards you in the middle here represented by the Empress it's showing in a that it, the cards are showing that you are in a very very powerful position with the death card I see this massive transformation that you might have recently uh, 
phase uh, or, or, or kind of uh, went through. Maybe that's that's the best way to say it. Um, it's like a I love this card because especially imagery is like a phoenix rising from the ashes. I see a massive. It feels like you've changed something changed in you it's like you went through some sort of transformation and in the near future in your outcome it's that there will be a significant shift significant shift happening but it will put you in a very powerful position because we have also this queen of swords i feel that you are embodying the energy of queen of swords being very kind of logical rational straight to the point knowing exactly what you want and not accepting any BS. Nah. Because Queen of Swords is an energy, male, female, please take it how it resonates. This energy doesn't have a problem to, to detach, to walk away from something that is just looks murky or, you know, kind of uh, that you might be unsure about. Because Queen of Swords represents, uh, she possesses clarity about certain matter. And it's like, this transformation and you being in this beautiful empress energy it's like your your vibration is so high and i feel that everyone around would just see it and it they will be so 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 incredibly drawn to you you will notice uh, in the near future that people will be coming to you asking for your advice and it can be on a professional level but also i feel kind of a um every day it, with regards to everyday life i'm seeing people coming to you and asking for advice asking for your guidance it's like uh, it's your energy it's absolutely incredible and the thing is that people trust you because and you are very very like a strong minded, you are very powerful because with this energy, it feels like you are not afraid to to uh, end certain situations and to uh, complete this uncomfortable cycles that you might have been um, involved for even so many years. But it's like you that it's that it's the past. And oh, I feel that it also kind of, you know, impacted you in a sense of made you feel stronger you know because this is a very strong energy that energy represents someone who's not afraid of change but also benefit from that change taking best from that change in order to to raise their vibration mm. This is pretty incredible, very powerful reading, Taurus. And people will start seeing you differently. And it's like, for some of you, you even might be a mentor or uh, you will feel like you are... This is also a very healing energy. Maybe for some of you, Taurus, you are natural healers. Because you are able to heal yourself first and then you kind of it's like you are very gifted and i see a very kind of profound uh, spiritual energy you know surrounding you and it's just so beautiful and profound and strong and with this queen of swords it's like yeah you are in a position of authority and power you will notice how people will come and will ask for your advice um or you would just get you would just get noticed that you're getting so much attention because of your energy because it's so high vibrational it's absolutely beautiful with with a knight uh, sorry with page of uh, swords um this is an energy of curiosity as an overall energy i feel very strongly that you indeed might be quite curious about certain new things maybe you want to expand your horizons you 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 gaining some sort of new knowledge about something there is something here that you want to explore more for some of you you might wanting to uh, maybe undertake like an extra course 
in order to again expand your horizons or, or even maybe there is something about coming back to to school or um, to kind of um, take some sort of again course in order to get uh, uh, some sort of extra qualification that might help you or might be not help you but it might like added extra bonus uh, uh, to your professional life very beautiful reading Taurus expect expect people wanting to make amends with you I'm also seeing a new person here who uh, very strong soulmate energy this person is representing who wants to kind of get to know you better I'm seeing you spending time with this individual I, I see success at work and you uh, being very in tune with yourself you know and very high vibrational knowing exactly what you want and not afraid to make decisions in order to get what you want beautiful reading Taurus Taurus I will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time I truly appreciate you I truly appreciate you <laughs> Taurus, have a fantastic and wonderful day. And once again, thank you so, so very much for being with me. Love and light. Till next time. Take care. Bye.